Ready, set, brush! Welcome back, sports fans. If you're just joining us, the Griffin Rock Brash Ball team is wiping the floor with themselves in a practice scrimmage leading up to the Intercounty Championship playoffs. Why are you talking into your hand? Didn't you know? That's how all great sportscasters start out. <laughs> That's right. Woohoo! Yeah, Cade. Woohoo! All right. Whoa! Uh oh Whoa! Careful, Jerry. Sorry, Frankie. Running late. Maybe you should take off the moose head. No time. Got deliveries to make. This year, with Kate Burns having a career-high season, things look promising for the Griffin Rock Moose. Mooses. Mooses. Hey, Frankie, what's the plural of moose? Moose is both singular and plural. One moose, two moose, three moose. Noble, your new phone is awesome. But wrong. It's Mises, I'm sure. Sorry, you are incorrect. <laughs> Isn't it great? I got it with all the money I saved up for my babysitting jobs. Cool. And there he there is. is. Great job, Kate. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, let's head home. Practice like that calls for victory donuts. Be our mascot, Jerry. It'll be fun, Jerry. Fun. It's like doing gymnastics wearing a couch. What the heck fire? Whoa! everybody. I'll grab him. Blades, we're gonna need some help. Blades? Danny? How about meats? You know, like geese. Even that would make sense. Can we stop talking about this now? Uh, comms must be broken. Yeah, so is this hunk of junk. It's not the comms or your phone. Look! The tower is malfunctioning. Cody, grab the safety flare from my emergency kit. See if you can get Blade's attention. What are you doing? Save me! Ah! Let's try this. Ah! That usually works. All right, then. What's going on? We saw your emergency flare. And all the Mises. That is incorrect. We needed to get your attention. The comms weren't working, so... Phone networks are down, too. All over the island. That's okay. I'm more of a texture. Who calls anyone anymore, right? 
That comm tower's been acting up since the last big storm. Must have finally given out. Can it be fixed? Why don't we call Doc and ask him? Oh, right. Phone's out. Why don't we drive up to Doc's? One question first. Why is there a moose driving Jerry's truck? I've been trying to get this tower replaced since before Frankie was born. And there's nothing you can do to fix it? I'm trying, but the technology is out of date. The tower itself is on its last legs. <clears throat> and I am out of duct tape. Why doesn't the town just buy a new tower? I mean, really, with all the tech work we do in Griffin Rock, you think it would be a priority. The town has to have communications. Even Mayor Lusky must get that. Ah, you're right, my little Marconi. I'll call the mayor at once and set up a meeting. Oh, right. Phone's out. Well, I can't be responsible for everything in the city. Actually, Mayor, I believe that is an accurate job description. According to the balance sheets, there was money set aside for a tower. And it's been spent. Oh, so you did buy a new tower? Um, no. But the tower money's been spent. Um, yes. <laughs> but not on the tower. Whoa, communications really have fallen apart. Um, on the mayor's orders, the tower money... In fact, all the city savings were recently used for something called... Yeah, the, uh, uh, um, stadium fund. What stadium? Why, only the biggest new brass ball stadium in North America. <laughs> Citizens of Griffin Rock, I give you the inflatable, unflappable insta -adium. Put online at clearance. And you're just in time to see us breathe it to life. <laughs> hey, hey, let's see. Uh, press A and C while holding D. That's what you spent our money on? It's an investment in our city's future. Why, with a new stadium, Griffin Rock may be able to lure the Brass ball, big bowl. The league championship? Here? That would be so noble. Noble indeed. Along with the game come tourists who eat in our restaurants, stay in our hotels, and make us back the tower money in no time. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, is it too late to return this insta adium? Return it? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, the Brass Ball Big Bowl board is coming to Griffin Rock for our next game to inspect the stadium and consider our town as host. Mayor, everything I've learned in engineering warns against inflatable structures. No one in the country has mastered them. Well, this isn't from our country. It's from... It, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm sure it's safe. Nothing to worry about. If we inflate it, they will come. But what do we do to communicate until then? Use carrier pigeons? Maybe Salvage can rig something together. At least get the tower working temporarily. I'll call him on the mainland. Uh, oh, r right. Phone's out. <laughs> you want an argon beam coagulator? I could find parts and build one for you in 15 minutes. But this uh, is a little trickier. There! Give that a try. This is the Chief. Uh, hello, Chief. It's Doc. I'm standing right next to you. What? I said I'm... Sorry, Doc. You're breaking up. That's not the only thing breaking up. Good Thanks, work. Boulder. Oh, sorry about that, guys. That wasn't even the piece I fixed. It's all right, Salvage. Whatever you did worked. See? I have bars. Should for a while. Not sure how long, though. That's it. We need a new tower immediately. But if the mayor spent the funds, where do we get the money? 
I think I know. Family meeting. The same way Frankie started babysitting to earn her new holophone, we can raise money by getting part-time jobs. Wait, on top of being rescuers? Since it is a civic concern, perhaps all Griffin Rock citizens would want to contribute. Until they find out that Lusky already spent the city's savings. At Cody School, they have bake sales to raise money. That's a great idea. I can make my famous cookies. By my calculations, you would have to sell 287,112.5 cookies to purchase the new communications equipment. That's a lot of olives. Olives? Well, yeah, my secret ingredient. That explains a lot. Look, my school needs a part-time crossing guard. Griffin Rock Taxi needs drivers. And I could get a job delivering papers. Hmm, private landscaper wanted. You're right, this could be fun. As long as it doesn't interfere with rescues, maybe taking side jobs isn't such a bad idea. Oops. Pulling weeds is not landscaping. And not really my thing, huh? Sorry, Boulder. Ah! Sorry, Graham. No! I'm I can't do it! You can't do it! Kids! I have my Kids! I can't do it! Hi, I'm the new tutor. What? I'm here to teach your kids? Didn't you say they were having trouble with their math? No, with their bath! You're the new nanny! Wait, no, I don't, I don't know how to... Be back in an hour! Oh, 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 oh. Ma math, anyone? I can play. So I says, here you is, Mac, and he says, who you calling Mac, Mac? And then the big palooka sniffs me on a tip. Fascinating jargon. Okay, Mr. Uh, Chase. Your application looks good, you're hired. You own your own car? In a manner of speaking, yes. Welcome to Mary's birthday party. <laughs> At least one of us gets to keep his dignity. <laughs> And now, with our traffic report, the newest members of our news team, Danny Burns and Blaine. Thanks, Huxley. Traffic looks light downtown. Have a nice commute. Back to you in the- But, uh-oh. What? What is it, Blades? Looks like Mrs. Rubio is heading to the store. And we know how she drives. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Throwing it back to you, H-Town. H-Town? It's good television. All that practice talking into my hand has finally paid off. Something's smoking. Let's check it out. Where to, Mac? <gasps> oh. Hi, Chief. Is there a problem? No, sir. Just delivering your large pepperoni pizza. Hey, team. We have a small fire in a dumpster behind the diner. On my way. My pizza? Right. Sorry. But, um, your money? Got it, Danny. See you in five. Ten four on my way. Seatbelt, Mac. What's wrong, dude? <sighs> Used it all at the party. No tip. Thank you for nothing, you big palooka. <gasps> uh, Chase, you might want to work on your people skills. Okay, at this rate, we'll be able to buy that new tower in... 10 years and four months. Uh, <sighs> not a great first day, but that doesn't mean we should give up. Right, Cody? Cody? 
had a long day, poor kid. And he just got a second job. He's taking over for Jerry as the moose mascot. Oh, that reminds me, the big brash ball game's tomorrow. I'll have to leave the new job early. Not doing the clown. Actually, the mayor has asked that we all be at the game. In stealth mode, of course, what with the out-of-town officials. I will inform my taxi dispatcher that I must take time off my shift. He will not be pleased. <sighs> Cross with caution. Cross with caution. You could walk faster, though. Come on. Hey, cross with caution! <sighs> Not much going on this morning, Huxley. We got cars driving up one side and wait. Yep, more coming down the other way. Pretty exciting. My advice, don't drive with the head on. Yes, that's right. The whole family is coming. So we'll need to... No cell phones, please. It is hard to focus on the road. What, what? No, 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 that's just a silly driver. Anyway... I will write you a citation for distracting conduct. Yeah, buddy, that's not even a thing. Look, 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 you're not going the right way. Hands off yeah. my wheel, uh, Bob. Give it. Then give it. Give it. Look out. Whoa! Yeah, hi, I'm doing all the work. You're just standing there. Blocking traffic. That's the job. Give it. Look, hi, watch where you're going. Please, sir, I... Look out! Update, you might want to avoid the corner of Franklin and Front Streets. That's one way to empty them. Are you okay, Mr. Sharma? This is the worst taxi ever! And you, Bub, are not much of a fare. You had one job, one job! Watch for cars! Why weren't you watching for pedestrians? All right, all right. It's time to face facts. We just can't do these jobs and our rescue work. Yeah. Sure. I concur. Just yeah. what I was thinking! Uh, we'll have to think of a new way to fund that tower. But for now, we have a game to get to. Go Moose! Go Moose! Shake your caboose! No more excuses! Let's go, Mooses! Uh, hey, bro, you there? Um, yeah. I must have left my cleats at home. Do me a favor, pick them up, bring them to the stadium for me. And leave these kids? Absolutely. Welcome to Griffin Rock! I know you'll enjoy every moment. We'll see. Keith! Thanks, bud. You saved the day. What do you forget this time? His cleats. Wait, cleats? Yeah, you know, sports shoes with little spikes. Spikes? Oh, no. Kate, is Cody with you? We have him, Dad. It's getting a little squishy down here. Please head quickly but orderly to the exits. <laughs> Tell them to follow me. Ladies and gentlemen, attention! Follow the moose! He will lead you to an exit. Follow the moose! The stadium. Follow me. One, two, three. That's everybody. Do 
You're lucky I don't expel you from the entire League after that little catastrophe. Yeah, I'll call you. Yeah, well, it, once we fix our phones. Maybe now you can get that refund. Discount sale. No refunds. I'll call High Tide to come help clean up. He'll love this story. I... I'm sorry. I, I, I really thought this would work. Now we have no stadium. And no tower. We tried our best. But we can't do our rescue work and hold down part-time jobs. That's why you all took on extra work? To help raise money for the town? How very generous. Well, here's what I owe you for the pizza. And let's just call this a tip. I am happy to make an offering. If you promise you will never work as a taxi again. Gladly, you big palooka. Do you take credit right. cards? Here, oh, here you go. Here you go. I guess this means I go back to talking into my hand. We can still do our traffic reports, even if it's just for us. Mayor Lusky, can you hear me? Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? Oh, don't tell me this thing doesn't. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, it, thanks. Uh, hello?